Hi there Sagittarius, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 4th of January. Resources, it's going to be a big issue for you this week and in the weeks to come. There is a new moon in this area which occurs on Sunday at the end of this week admittedly. But you already have the Sun and Pluto in this area and Pluto continues to forge a right angle, sharp square to Uranus. So you could find yourself being a bit impulsive about money this week, especially with the January sales stirring up a certain amount of, of attraction towards certain in, uh, items that can see you pulled in on a more impulsive basis. Ask yourself this question, is anything going to be fundamentally useful to you? If it's more discretionary, perhaps you should walk on by. But communications. Well, communications are very much under the astral microscope because Mercury, the planet of communication, of talk and thought, slams on the brakes on Tuesday, the first of three retrogrades it goes through each year. But it is going to be in a right angle with Mars, and Mars relocates into the part of your horoscope that's to do with secrets, to do with the past, and to do with your psyche. And that's going to really have a strong bearing on the next six weeks of this year but it's also going to come back into this area for a further two months later in 2016. So just be conscious that some of the things that you might not want to look at someone somewhere may be asking you to look at them in the early parts of this year and particularly this week and perhaps someone's going to tell you things about yourself that you're not aware of perhaps in terms of your attitudes or the way you think or express yourself. Someone could challenge you. You can be very blunt and to the point when it comes to expressing your viewpoint. Are you always as comfortable with other people deploying the same methods on you? Well, if you're not, you could find yourself on the back foot at times this week. Also, your ruler Jupiter is going to twist backwards from Friday. This is going to go on for much longer and this involves your career and career expectation and hopes. If you've been bowling along in some kind of new, big and decisive way from August of last year through to this point, this is asking you to check out whether you really are involved with something that is, has true meaning for you. Or are you bigging yourself up about something that requires greater humility? Or should you be a bit more uh, realistic about what your goals and targets and ambitions are about. There is a bit of a tangle still this week because with Uranus and Pluto clashing, then there's the new moon in your sector of resources. It could see an improvement in your finances, but this new moon also clashes with Uranus. And I'd like to think of it more in terms of values rather than money. If your values are compromised by your joys, so in other words, the things you love doing, if you're being a bit too much to the excessive in terms of enjoying those things and you're not being very self-disciplined about what you eat and drink in particular then I think really things can start to creak, the rivets could start to come out a little bit and certainly there could be tensions in a love relationship if your lifestyle is not meshing in with the needs of someone you're closely involved with. So if you have had a great Christmas time and New Year and you're keen to continue to celebrate things, I think that old maxim of everything in moderation is one you may consider. Also, with Venus in your own sign this week, squaring up to Neptune, if you're confusing yourself about the level of popularity you have with one particular person, especially in a close romantic relationship, again, they may be much more confrontational with you. I know this sounds a little bit like tough love, but I'm only being honest, and of course, that's what you like giving out to your people yourselves. But the great thing about all of this, uh, Sagittarius, particularly once Mercury re-enters Capricorn on Saturday, is it can help you to take a rain check, a major rain check, and sort out what's really important to you in your values. So it's not so much about consumption and just having a good time. It's actually about what's really fundamentally important to making you feel secure. And if that's what this week helps you to focus upon more, it really will be a helpful week from the heavens. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.